All right. Timmy, uh, he didn't practice illness. Uh, he'll join the team in L.A. Anything more definitive on D-Live? Yeah, he was good. He was good. He was good today. Um, we'll, we'll look at it. Uh, tomorrow, um, but everything is trending in the right direction. He's he's been great with with that second unit, and so um, he's ready to go. Uh, Tim, are you guys uh, you guys ready to get this thing rolling? Yeah, it's been a um, long break, um, which is not a bad thing, um, but I think we are ready. I think they're tired of uh, of being other players or or practicing against each other so yeah it's going to start Sunday and um, we'll leave uh, this afternoon um, and get ready. Do you think much about that sort of competitive edge thing during the week as you're going through this or do you really worry much about them kind of losing that with a week off? Uh, no I don't I don't think they uh, I'm worried about them losing it I think it's just uh, being patient um, and then also uh, you know Conditioning, um, making sure no one uh, leaves hurt. Um, those are all things that you have to uh, guard against. And so, uh, again, to, to get through the week with no injuries uh, is big, especially uh, with the pace and how hard everybody's been going. Jason, over the course of the week, how much have you been able to drill down on things specific to your system that you wanted to refine and clean up and how much of it has been locking in on one opponent that you're going to see for the course in two weeks. Yeah, we've locked in on one opponent, and so uh, that's what it's been all about here for the whole week, um, understanding uh, the Clippers are a really good team. They have a, a, a lot of talent. Uh, basketball IQ is extremely high, and they had a great coach and, and Ty. So uh, just we've been focused on them and, uh, and trying to understand what, what's coming and what to expect on, on both ends. Does leaving a day early I know that that's the, going two days early rather than one. Does that give you a chance? Do you want to shoot at the gym in crypto tomorrow since you're not going to have a, a shoot around with the early game on Sunday? Is that the, the thought process there? Uh, the thought process is it's an afternoon game, and so uh, we want to get to L.A. at an appropriate time and have time to practice tomorrow where if we were here, um, practice would have to be a little earlier and, and we would have to leave. So um, to leave this evening, um, smooth as having dinner um, for the team at his restaurant tonight, which is cool. Um, and then uh, to be able to have practice and walk through uh, for the Clippers tomorrow um, because it will not be time for uh, at 1230 to have a, a walkthrough. So um, that's, that's the, the thought about leaving this afternoon. You mentioned the Clippers being well coached, and you've coached against uh, Ty a number of times. What sort of characterizes, you know, his teams, and then the maneuvers he makes? Uh, yeah, he's, they're well, they're well prepared. Um, he he's you know won a championship. Uh, he's coached talent. Um, he understands what it means to win and be prepared. And he's not afraid to try something. Um, different or you know something outside the box so um, just understanding uh, you know he's going to put his team in a, in a position to win and so uh, just knowing that knowing Ty as a player um, you know just his preparation and, and making sure that he has all the boxes checked he's going to be ready to go too. The Clippers when they first got James Harden lost a bunch of games in a row then they had an amazing stretch in the middle of the season and then they went on this real rough patch for their one of the worst defenses. How do you approach preparing for a team that's been so up and down and shown different things? Uh, you prepare for the best and, and you look at when they were rolling. Um, that uh, of late, uh, you know, with the injuries maybe they've had, um, but understanding uh, we played them, I think, uh, before they started to roll and then we got to see them when they were rolling. So um, just watch a lot of video of when they were rolling and expect that that's, that's the team you're going to face. Coach, I understand the word X factor can be used a little too loosely at times, but with Derrick Jones Jr., you've talked about his defense. He's a capable offensive player too. Just what do you think he's going to bring to this series just overall? Uh, I think when you look at D. Jones, it's just his, uh, his calmness. Uh, he, he does uh, his job at a high level, uh, being consistent, um, looking at 
Uh, we talk about his defense, but uh, he's a capable uh, offensive player too uh, in transition and then also shooting the three. And so that, you know, and also playmaking. So we're going to need him to be able to do that on both ends. Going back to Ty Lue a little bit, you know, Kyrie has the history of playing under him. Does it, how much of a benefit is it to have a player who, pl player who, is going against a coach who we play for. Yeah, I think it's helpful to be able to uh, talk to uh, Kai about uh, T. Lou and, and being able to just pick his brain and, and understanding uh, what he has done, um, you know, in preparation uh, for the playoffs. So uh, it, it, it can be helpful. Jason, you, you, you've been part of playoff runs as a player and a coach. What gets you excited? What gives you the confidence in this group that you have? This season? Yeah, I think, uh, well, the answer to that question is, you know, going through the season is preparation for the playoffs. And so for to be able to go through uh, those 82 games to find out who we are uh, as a group uh, uh, at the beginning and then with the change uh, in the roster to be able to, uh, you know, go through the through a slow period after that all-star break, uh, but then to be able to come out of it. Um, so just to understand who we are and when things uh, tend to not go well, we, we tend to get better um, and we don't panic. Uh, we continue to, to work the game. And so uh, my trust in these guys is at a high and uh, you can see that throughout the season. All right, thank you.